Hi guys, Jared O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle Decorating. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, so I'm back on this outside job here. Um, <coughs> I've done a few videos on it. Uh, I'm on the last uh, gable end. And as you can see, it's a cracking day. Uh, sun's out. I have my sun cream on, which if I don't put cream on, I just roast. Uh, I have my shades here. Can't see. You know, uh, again, the sun's already glaring when I'm doing this video, so I need to have those on when I'm doing this. And the reason why I'm doing this video is see this facey board here. Soffit is perfect, but the facey board uh, gets a, a, a lot of sun. And uh, as I say, I think I mentioned this, this facey board's over 100 year old and it's solid. There's no, there's no rotten weed in it. The only thing. Uh, problem with this one uh, I hadn't haven't done this in about six or seven years so you can imagine over those years uh, the sun uh, hitting against that that likes it today it's just blasts straight onto it I fancy it does break up the paint <clears throat> now this was really badly flaking so uh, it's just that if you ever come across a, a fancy board like this you know you have two options uh, you can strip it back which is a hell of a job you know uh, unless you have a, a cherry pick or a scaffold that they work comfortable uh, but to do it off a ladder uh, there's a lot of work and in this particular one um, I'm going to put my glasses on here uh, on this particular uh, facey board here um, it was all uh, I, I mean it was really bad but I'll show you anyway at this end there's not much room between the two houses so even when I have my ladder up, it's it's quite narrow, you know, up. So uh so what I had to do basically was go up, scrape it all down and sand it, and then uh undercoat it all. Um I'll show you anyway, you know. Scrape it down, good sand down, scrape it, undercoat it, dark grey. Then it highlights all the uh, imperfections in the wood and basically uh, a wood filler to pray uh, i mentioned that great wood filler and after you flush flush it all out let the filler dry sand it all down which i've done and i'll show you what i've done here i've sanded it down and then i put on acolyte assistant sealer with this brilliant sealer crown uh, i use the crown one and uh, it's great for dry surfaces powdery surfaces and stuff uh, and then another coating on the coat over it so I'm at that stage now, I've got a prime and putting the undercoat on. Now, it, it doesn't look perfect, but believe me, the work that I've put into it, off a ladder, uh, between these two houses, uh, you know, uh, uh, I've done a, for me, it's a half decent job, and it will, it will last, it will hold up for a few years. The wood filler will certainly not break up, you know. Um, and uh, like I said to the customer, if, you know every two or three years if you start seeing it breaking up in certain areas of your house where it gets bad where the sun hits it bad don't let it get out of hand you know do it right away and then it saves all the cuts out all the labor you know so i'll show you where we are i'll show you this here gap between these two houses by the way so there you are there as you can see so i'm doing this basic board here you can see i've got it all under cut it up there but there's the, the space I have between the two houses. So, you know, I have to go up three, four times up a big ladder, get it up on that cable there. Uh, you know, and it is awkward when you're having to scrape down and sand and then fill and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, I'll just show you here. So there you have the, you can see that it's still, it's not perfect. But well, believe you me, the condition that was in when I had a scrape down was very bad. So what's the primer over the wood filler after it was sanded? So as I say, I had to scrape it all down, scrape it, sand it, undercoat it, flash fill it with two prey wood filler, sand it again, I coated that acolyte resistant primer, and as you can see there, I've started the undercoat over that. And you know, it's solid, it's smooth, it's not a brand new piece of wood, it's over a hundred year old. And for me, that's a pretty good job. And it will hold up well, you know. As I say, whenever that's glossed, it will look uh, quite well, you know. So there you go. 
So as I say, you know, um, if you ever do come across uh, a weed like that, as long as the weed isn't rotten, you know, scrape it all down, you know, and as I say, undercoat it first, then fill it with a, a weed filler, and then sand it all down again, undercoat it, a light sand, and then put your finished gloss on. Okay, guys, anyway, thanks for watching, and again, as usual, any questions, by all means, send me a message. Thanks, Nate. Bye.